Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening uh, to everyone. Mi am Yokatan Konyasankwa. Madhubunam Yakatam. I hope Bama Shama uh, is doing well. Um Agba quickly uh, I jump into uh, more in uh, in style because Miss Mij style gone on lesson um three. The lesson four I mean I continue with style, which also means we are learning more about CSS. Is some of that you remember? We are learning. We will learn HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. So, we are me as from more into uh, uh, CSS. So, style is basically CSS. So, let's move on quickly with that. Um, so, nicho uh, amiso unkure background color. Okay, uh, I think I used the old one, which was just background. Gaka, this is the right way. Background dodge dash color. That is the the standard way to you to to do it now. So use background dot color. Then you set the color green, or background dot color and set whichever color you want. Okay, but me I move more into uh, some few other uh, styling. Okay, so me from background variable. So let's learn about uh, color, which is like the text color of the text. Uh, you are, you are, uh, you are displaying so let me mark the background color I already so that me have a browse uh, near me have a text and a woman I call you because background color the earth we rent now uh, do. so let me just take out all of this from the style the sections okay if you have me have focus on what is inside the section so for like a heading h1 here if you are so let me let me save this let me up on your journal browser jira so let's come here so everything is back to normal okay now let's see how we we'll use the style css or style to yako was changing the website ig okay uh, the web page ig not a website it's a page because we are still on our computers okay okay so style so let's let me use style so uh let me go to style and uh, my four of uh equals to double quotes right color in your zanga miller color and then i will say green i like color green so next not just color it means but the color of this text inside here like text here the general if you are heading text if you use if you just say color then you are you are talking about the text itself okay so i will i'm going to make this text heading one uh green okay so that's how you use uh style we can also use another one here we can say style again equals and then we'll say color then i'll say blue okay and so you always use end with semicolon okay now i'm going to save it yeah check browser so you see you have green and you have blue so we are changing the color of the text okay all right so let's move on to the next one so now let's use font family i think collins try as our font family last time i that let's math math touch on data so we can say style equals oops um style equals uh font family font family aquenia uh like the style of the font okay like times new roman plato so let's let's try for data so a font family yeah so let me let me just go here and just like let me go to google font family okay let me apologize all of that so if we go to google fonts uh see all these are all different kinds of font uh, families okay what was they look different you know some are like this some are like this some are like this these are all font families okay they look a, a little bit different so they have so let's see if we can find the one for dana we were looking for let's see uh search okay for dana okay search so this is a and jimmy layer so for dana yes i mean left yeah so just to make you know for what form family is that's what it is so your know, web page is so let me change this to verdana okay we can all even change this one also to another style okay uh, 
So let's use font family. And then I will call this one Korea. I mean, everyone likes using Korea. So let me use that. All right, now save it. So now let me go back to the website and refresh it. A power all changer. You see that the style of the font changer, font family. This is what we call font family. Okay. All right. Now let's move on to font size. So we can say style equals quotation mark font um, size. And let's just say. Let's say I want to make this uh, hundred percent. Okay. Um, semicolon. Okay. Let me save it. Apple need you to get uh, All right. So this is like so. Let me make it even a lot bigger. So let me make it three hundred. So we can all see it. Each. Um, yep. Uh, let me re refresh my browser. All right, there we go. So H1 is now very big. So what I'm trying to tell you is that you can you can make even the, the uh, tags that are set in some way, you can still customize them. That's not what I, so no, uh, H1 uh, Mololo no, two Mololo no enough, you can make it even bigger. Okay, like H5, even each, this H1, uh, which is the highest, uh, you can even make it more bigger. I mean, I can make my turn, turn, I can turn this into 400 and save it and go back there and see, it's even bigger. So you are waiting your boss, away in your programmer. So you can make the computer do anything for you. You can make your, your web page look, look any way you want it. Just know what you can use to make them or some of that. Okay, so that's how you use uh, font uh, size. Now let's use font, uh, let's use uh, alignment, okay? Equals uh, font align. So align, so let me just center. So if I want to center uh, H6R to make it appear in the middle, very middle center of the page. Eh? I don't know if, uh, in our lesson one, I told you how you can locate position things on the screen. So this is how to center. Uh, this is how to center uh, this text. So use font align and then the, use center. So you can use center, you can use right, you can use left, you can use top, you can use bottom, like with that. All of that works. Okay. So let me save this and then go here and refresh. Uh, what is my center? Uh, oh, no, I'm using the this, uh, where is it? H6. Okay. Font align. Oh, not font align. It's text align. Okay, let's use text. It's supposed to be text align. Sorry. Uh, here. Yeah. Well, so now it's now uh, uh, in the center. Now I think I think double A. Okay, you can make this. You can use multiple. So let's see. Let me see font size. Okay, and then uh, and make this one three hundred percent. Okay, and save. And then save this. What will happen? Okay. See. So I think I think uh, uh, use multiple style, but you only have to use one style and put all your parameters inside one quotation mark. So here I'm using text align, and then I I'm using text of uh, font size. I can even use uh, I can use font color. I can just say color. Okay. I can say color and then I'll say I'll say red okay so even that I'm so now I'm using my uh, how many parameters I'm using like three right now so let's see what happens let me save that and then refresh see it's now six uh, it's now red and it's h6 and it's even bigger than what it's supposed to be so I think I think add more parameters to just one uh, elements property like style I think it's, uh, I think center after you center it, you make it bigger and then you change the color and you can uh, keep adding Add, as uh, you can change. You can, you can even bring font family here if you want. Okay. It to work. Okay. All right. So now let's move to a few other formatting uh, uh, things. 
okay so now let's say i want to make uh this uh, heading like h1 i want to make it italic italic when you wanna uh a text are uh, 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 slim and then slanted so let me add italic to this one so i'll just say i'll just uh so let's say i want this one i can put okay so this is one thing you have to know but uh, uh, uh you, tags can contain other tags right me strong math with section right so I can put uh, this text here, like H1 here, I can put it in a, a different, another tag if I need it to look differently. For example, if I'm a Jibamawe bolder, if I want to make this bold, I can just put a B tag here, right? Open, close. Right? And then then I'll copy my cut text here, like here, cut it from here and put it inside the B, the bold, the B tag. So, uh, so right now uh, we are we are we are we have h1 open tag h1 closing tag at the end here but in, inside it instead of just putting the text h1 heading i'm about that i put the text inside another tag which is a b tag which is the bold tag which is going to make h1 heading you have a text here this text here to be bold okay let me show you so a uh, now right now is not bold text here i'm all about though. so let me save this okay and then open back and then refresh see now this is now a bold text right let me wait h1 right yeah yeah that's the the b the b tag okay so let me see uh yep so for i think i don't think you guys can see it so uh, so let me just take this out so let's say uh, be, uh, before this section uh, I want to make uh, mm, let me see let me see let me see this screen uh, actually let me let me make this a little smaller so everybody everybody can see what is I'll make this 200 and I'll make this also 200 okay now let's see and then here i'll put a new text here and i'll say uh i'll put in a b tag here okay b tag here and i'll say this text is bold okay all right is that good okay now let me save it then let me refresh it it says this text is bold equita it's in a B bold tag, okay? From this one, this is different from this one. This one is bold. All right, so what about I want to uh, do italic? Uh, oh, another another uh, one that behaves like bold and you're strong. So you can do, sorry, you can do a strong tag, okay? Open and close, okay? And, and then I will say, uh this text is strong okay so let me save that it behave now like bold okay see it's also just like the same as bold so let me wait let me put a br here so let me break the line you remember br okay i hope let me remember what br is so a break liner so right now you see that this strong and this bold are pretty much the same okay all right what about if i want to italic 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 size or italic size i don't know what to say okay so let's do br another br then so that we are on the new line and now i'm going to do i okay uh, open close all right this text is italic uh how do you even this italic there there you go italic so let me save this and refresh this yeah so now this one is slanted and it's smaller okay italic it bring it, this all of these are formatting you, you can use on your screen to bring attention to certain things okay all right let's try emphasized so let me use another br you know to break into a new line 
and let me use amp Aquira. so now this text is emphasized okay all right let's see how it looks like refresh this so a proper italic and emphasis almost look the same so you can use bold or and strong for the same effect and you can use italic and emphasize for the same effect so this i and m tags are pretty much the same doing the same thing and this strong and b are also doing the same thing all right let's move on to what about small let's new line right and now let's use small and then I'll say this text is small okay all right save and refresh see small smaller than everything else on the screen small okay uh, what about delete okay you can say so for delete, uh, how do you look at me off here? Uh, uh, get on new line. Re remember br, okay? So let's go to another br. Go to a new line, and now I'm going to just put to make this good. I'm going to use a p tag. If anybody remember what the p tag is? Yes, I hope you do. So inside p tag, I want to show now. I want to show that something has been deleted, like it's on the screen, okay? So I'll say my favorite. My favorite food is then I'll put a delete tag here, okay? Which is Dell, okay? And then I'll say, I'll say, so instead of delete, I will say, okay? So I'll put Dell here, so instead of delete, I will say, fufu, okay? So let's see how it, it looks like, okay? Let me refresh this now okay so i'm saying that my favorite food is mm, no not fufu but apple so how do i make that line this thing uh, show like there is some space in it what about i put space here let's save and refresh there we go see so my favorite food is fufu apple no but cancel fufu as apple apple <laughs> okay all right uh what about if you want to say something is inserted okay uh let's change let me just do the same thing here okay uh just to save time let me put a br here remember br again we are going on must be our zone because i want everything to be on one new line new line then you must have br they'll all be on the same line going this way all right, so here uh, I would like to use insert instead of delete, okay? So let's change the deal to uh, in and change here to in. All right, let's see how it will look like. All right, see? See, it's everything is like, there's something there, but you cannot see it, right? right so here it is my favorite food is fufu uh, so i underlined there okay let me take out this br so i think i think it's making my, my too much giving too much space between the two of them so let's see there we go so now fufu, uh, fufu is like underlined okay so that's how that's how insert works and that's how delete work you some of that all right so let's about um sub okay let's do the same thing i already selected this let me just paste this and then use instead of delete again i'll use sub uh, sub mm -hmm. sub so what does sub mean substitute right sub okay all right let me save it and let me refresh this see now my favorite food is up right so if you want to say 10 to the power of 5 you can say is then i can put 10 here okay i can take put 10 here and then i'll say to the power um 
six, you know, and there it is. So let's save it. And that, see, so favorite food is 10 to the power five aqua. I mean, this is not a good example, but uh, what about, what about you say a thousand, you can say, you say a thousand is 10 to the power of what? What, 10? Is it, are, are you sure it's 10 to the power 10? Well, let's see. That's like 10 zeros, man. Okay, so let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say a million. So it's 10 to the power six, right? So I can say 10 to the power six numbers. Number, okay. Let me just use that. All right, let's save that and refresh it. See, one million is 10 to the power six number. All right. I don't know if that's a good example, but yeah. So, Emma. So, what about if we want to do? I mean, we have so many other um, uh, other tags, but these are the common ones I want you to know. I think we like a real pro project goal. Okay, so another one is what about Mark? So let's just say Mark and. And then this is a mark, marked text. Okay, save and refresh. See, my highlight table is marked. So this is a marked table and a background, which is yellow. So that it is like a, use like a, a marker to mark your text. Okay, all right. So now we, today, Miss Sean Lakamia, um, Mr. Olakamiya, uh, highlight text, move text, you know, it does alignment, you know, this is very important, alignment center, so we need to know how to use font size, we need to how to use color, we know how to use font family, we know how to use um, uh, mark, we know how to use, what is it, we know how to use the sub, we know how to use ins, we know how to use delete, we know how to use small, we know how to use m, we know how to use strong and bold and italic. We, we, we learn all those things. So now uh, those are the things you need to know. But most of it I uh, will be learning as we go. Okay. All right. So that's lesson four. I'm going to keep this moving quickly. If you have any questions, ask me. And I, I mean, text your mother down if you are inside there. You can put anything you want there. The most important thing for me is that you learn what the tags are. This element, you know how to use them, and, and I don't care what you put inside the text you put inside here. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, and God bless you, and uh, be safe out there. Okay. All right. God bless. Bye.